Hey everyone, it's Karen with Yes Please Paper Crafts. And in this video, I'm going to be sharing the first of four cards that I created using new die sets from Spellbinders, which are part of the beautiful Sentiment Vignettes collection by Becca Feekin. I was super excited when Spellbinders reached out and asked if I would like to design some projects using some of their new products. So I love card making as much as I love scrapbooking, and I knew as soon as I saw these die sets from this collection that they would make some gorgeous cards. Okay, so for my first card, I'm going to be using the Romantic Charger die set. And this is the same set of dies that I used to create my scrapbook layout. If you're interested in seeing how I use these dies for scrapbooking, I'll put a link to that video in the description below and you can go ahead and check that one out. Okay, so uh, right now I'm just going to go ahead and die cut a background piece. I did pre-cut a lot of the different uh, pieces that I'm going to be using today to make the cards. But then once I got to making the cards, I was missing a few things or I changed my mind and I did decide to just cut out some more pieces. And uh, this machine here is the Evolution. It's from We Are Memory Keepers. Very similar to the Sizzix Big Shot and uh, those other machines that have the hand, hand crank. <laughs> so it's very portable and I was just scrapbooking from my bedroom and so that's why I decided to use that machine. I do also have a Gemini, but that was in my craft room. So I'm just uh, doing uh, some things here uh, and just making it a little bit easier by using that machine because it's a little bit more portable. Okay, so now that I have that piece cut out, I'm going to go ahead and just layer all of these different pieces together to create a really pretty background. And uh, one of the things I wanted to do was to paper piece uh, behind the lacy part of this cut, the cutout there. And I decided to use this paper here that had all the different colors. It's almost like a honeycomb uh, or like hexagons. And I'm just going to cut that out and uh, layer it behind the die at the top and the bottom. So I'm using the Barely Art Precision Craft Glue to put this together. And this glue is so awesome. You don't have to even squeeze the bottle and the glue just flows right out. And it comes out uh, very thinly, so it's perfect for using on intricate dies. And uh, I just love this glue so much. Okay, so once I have all of this layered together, I am going to uh, just look at whether or not I want a solid piece there or I want this more lacy piece. And I decided to go with the more intricate one. And I'm just going to put that right on top of the background that I created. I just think that's really pretty. One of the things I love about using these die sets from Spellbinders is that you can use all of the layers or you can just cut out the layers that you like to use and uh, you can make all kinds of different cards and have them look different just by picking and choosing the different uh, layers that you want on your card. So to embellish my card, I decided to use some collections from Rosie Studio. And I love Rosie Studio because you can pull in pieces from the different collections and they coordinate very well together. And so I'm going to be using a chipboard piece from a collection called Indigo Mist and then a 3D sticker that was flowers from the collection Daisy Chain. And then I'm also gonna bring in some flowers from a collection called Take Flight. And so super fun to be able to just pull in these different pieces. And one of the things that I did try to do for all of these cards was to stick to just using products from Rosie Studio and also from some Spellbinders card kits. And those coordinate really well together because a lot of the products that are used in the Spellbinders card kits are actually from Rosie Studio. Okay, so I'm going to just go ahead and uh, tuck in some flowers behind that three-dimensional piece just to make it a little bit larger. The sentiment for this card says, sending good thoughts. And I found a little bird that was holding an envelope and I pushed that on top of the sentiment. It almost looks like the bird flew in and dropped the sentiment off. I thought that was really cute. <laughs> okay, so now that I have this panel finished, I'm going to build the base of the card. And this is a little bit of an oversized piece. And so I'm going to make my card five by seven. Uh, this die is quite large, so it's not going to fit on an A2 size card. Uh, but I love using five by seven cards. And so that's what I'm gonna do here. 
and I decided to make my card base purple and I'm just going to cut this down to a 10 by 7 and then score in the middle and that's going to give me my card base. I'm using the 12 inch paper trimmer from Creative Memories and one of the really awesome things about this paper trimmer is that you can change the blades out and there's a blade that is the scoring blade and so I was able to just quickly switch the blades uh, from the cutting blade to the scoring blade and score my paper. So it's really awesome to have this paper trimmer and have all of the different blades. They even have decorative blades like a scallop blade and a wave blade and a duckle. They have a whole bunch and their storage underneath the trimmer where you can keep all of your different blades. So really super cool trimmer. <laughs> So the next thing I decided to do was to add some foam tape to the back of this panel just to give a little bit more dimension to my card. But before I stick this down to my card base, I am going to take another look at this and I decided that I wanted to add another piece of uh, paper behind this panel just to give a little bit more interest to the card and to bring in more of a darker color so that there's more contrast between that panel and the card base. So I decided to bring in a glitter cardstock and this cardstock is from the Crafters Companion and I wanted to bring in uh, more of a darker purple, the same purple that's in the bird's wing. And so I pulled this uh, purple glitter paper. One of the cool things about this paper is that it doesn't shed glitter at all. It's very smooth and it cuts like butter. So it's a really super awesome paper. So I'm just going to cut that down to fit on top of my card base and uh, leave a little bit of uh, edge all the way around so you can still see the lighter purple uh, underneath. And I think that's going to be really pretty and it's going to just add another layer to this card. Okay, so I wanted to add a little bit more sparkle to this card. And so I'm going to get out some gemstones. These are from Honey Bee Stamps. And I'm just going to add a few of these gemstones onto some of the flowers. And I'm also going to add one onto the envelope. And I just think that's really pretty. It brings some sparkle to the different parts of the card. And then the last thing that I'm going to add to this card are some hearts from Bramble Fox. These are acrylic pieces and I'm going to add a blue and a pink heart to this card. One at the top of the card above the bird and then one in the floral cluster at the bottom. And that's going to finish off this card. So I do have some close-ups to share with you. And uh, I also wanted to say that I will be posting three more videos on my channel sharing the other three cards that I created using these new die sets from Spellbinders. So stay tuned if you want to see more card making. And I also have a short video clip of my two dogs, Bella and Lilybell, that I put at the end of this video. So if you want to see that, stick around to the end. Well, that's all I have. Hope y'all have an awesome day. And I hope to see you next time. Bye now. Hi, what you doing, Miss B? <laughs> I'm in the kitchen and she's hoping for some crumbs to fall on the floor, I guess. <laughs> would y'all like a snack? You would? What kind of snack would you like? You want cheese? Yes? Okay. I can give you cheese. <laughs> Lilybell, would you like some cheese? You would? Can y'all sit? Can you down? That's it. Up, Miss Lilybell. Can you down? <laughs> Up, down. <laughs> Good girl. <laughs> down. Good job. Down. Up, down. <laughs> Okay, I guess that's good enough. Here you go, Miss B. You can have some cheese. And here's one for Miss Lilybell. Was it good? Was that good cheese? <laughs> can you do another trick? Lilybell's gonna bounce. She's gonna bounce. And Bella's gonna talk. She says, give me more cheese, mama. Okay. Bella, speak. There you go. Good girl. Lily Bell. Down. Good job. <laughs> now I'm getting so close. Can you back up? <laughs> really I, I, 
I know you want more cheese, Miss Bella. I do. I know you want more. I'm going to give you more, okay? But you got to earn your cheese. <laughs> oh, good job. Okay. Here you go. All right, Lily Bell, can you speak? Now, Lily Bell, can Lily Bell speak? Lily Bell, speak. Good job. There you go. <laughs> Okay, so that's all we have. Hope to see you next time. Bye now.